Jones for conservatory orders were first certified as urgent and would be the first business of this court appearing there, assuming there is no other preliminary issue like refusal or otherwise. Third dream about is this, that for purposes of uh, those applications where conservatory orders were made, the conservatory orders may have been made in two or three files, but they conserve the status, they conserve the status quo that is cross-cutting in all the petitions that are before you. Apart from the fact that in that particular petition, the, the, the one that has conservatory orders, when this court, because all those applications were done on Saturday, the parties, starting at least with those that I represent, because of the nature of the proceedings that were there yesterday, we have not completed doing the responses to the applications by the Attorney General to lift conservatory orders. We could not be able to do the authorities for reasons that were indicated. And more importantly, my learned colleague, Mrs. Kemodo, whose file has been consolidated, did indicate she has not even been served. And in that matter, she needs to respond and be heard. Therefore, my Lord, in, in considering this issue that is itching, the group that wants lifting of the orders, I would like the court to give directions bearing in mind that the stakes of the parties, all the people who have filed the petitions, is to ensure you are do not defaced with a fait accompli, where you are told we have already sworn Kindiki and you can go to hell. We do not want to be faced with a fait accompli situation. My Lord, it would be absolutely important that the subject matter is preserved, if not for any other day, until all the parties are before the court. Your Lordship. Your Lordship, there is a.
Now we will um, uh, proceed uh, in these matters as follows. By uh, tomorrow, we will issue a comprehensive direction on various issues. But importantly, parties are already aware that there are two cohorts of matters. The first cohort involves the petitions with a file challenging the <coughs> happenings before the National Assembly. Those petitions will proceed as cohort one. They are the subsequent petitions which are filed challenging what transpired in the Senate. That is cohort two. By tomorrow, we will deal with the issue of consolidation. We are aware of the powers this court has on the issue of consolidation, just like how we accept the powers yesterday. We may decide to either hear or give directions on the consolidation. However, we are in agreement that the next application in line can only be one, and it is the application for refusal of this bench. And that is the application which, after we do everything, tomorrow at 2.30 is up for hearing. If you intend to participate in that application, in the second cohort, that application is coming up for hearing tomorrow at 2.30. In the morning, we will deal with the issue of consolidation. That one will, will give direction on that. So that is the way forward. Prepare to hear the application for recusal of the bench tomorrow at 2 p.m. In the morning, we will deal with the procedural issues of consolidation and any other issue which may arise in cohort one and uh, cohort two. Thank you. And we entirely agree that you assist in the orderly progression of the hearing of this case. Yes, for the record, my lord, we assume it is all the three applications for recusal. There, there will be no other application for recusal. We will hear what is on record and it will be. A ruling will be delivered. There will be no other application for it. So, and we think that that should come first because if you don't want the bench, there's no reason why we should do any other thing. Enough, my Lord, I was only pointing there are two or three of them. Yes. And the only clarity I'm asking is when the all applications for it will be together. Yes, together. All will be handled together. Yes. Your Lordship, finally, uh, uh, as you categorize these uh, pleadings in court one and court two, um, I kindly allow me to remind the court that the last time we were before you on the 16th, the court gave or um, granted leave for parties to amend their petitions. So there could be petitions that, that have now closed, uh, crossed over to court to uh, pursue the amendments in light of in light the what transpired. Perhaps the pleadings will be as with us. Those are some of the uh, preliminary issues which we'll deal with in the morning. Yes, but principally, prepare to argue your application for refusal at 2 I am ready to keep it now. Before we, before we break, <coughs> we will make a petition and it does this. I would like to put the deponents of the affidavits that have made very, very grave allegations about judges of this court to be present tomorrow at 2.30 because we reserve the right to cross-examine those opponents and to move the court as appropriate after that. Uh, well, perhaps if I may request uh, that the court supplies us 
with a tight scope of the ruling that you have delivered today. We know you are working under very um, uh, tight timelines, but we would very much appreciate a tight copy of the ruling that you have delivered today. We believe it may be useful in the tasks at hand tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These are these are ruling that you delivered on 16th of October in the consolidated petition 522. I believe you can get a copy of our The ruling should be available. So yes, finally, <coughs> finally, my judges, I think there is a another law about service that there are some parties who are present and have not been served, and we've been hearing this from the exception. I think tomorrow we settle the issue of service. We also settle the issue of filing of any affidavits or responses that ought to be done so that after 2 30, we know how best we're going to proceed without people intervening with I have not had sufficient time to this or that. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, before my presenting judge addresses, I, I just want to remind the parties that. We are using technology to move. To me, the issue of service should not be a big thing. Because if you are marked into a matter, automatically you get everything, unless you are not in the system. And if you are not in the system, get in touch with the deputy registrar. As simple as that. So that we avoid these issues of, I was not served, I was served, I was not served. Let us make use of the technology at hand. Thank you. Can yeah, I suggest that? I was going to plead that any other issues being raised from the bar be raised tomorrow at the end. No. 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 As the chair in charge of the only people who are carrying, I think they are good at this particular moment. The only people that go at this. Just to avoid any doubt, the application for recusal will be heard at 2 30. Whether you have responded to it or not, we will hear it. We will not allow any action in it. What time tomorrow morning, sir? Because some of us need to get there. Tomorrow morning at 9. At 9, yes. Yes. And will we do that? It's at 10 o'clock. We're most obliged, my lord. You can see it from there. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that could produce our sitting today. That could produce our sitting today. See you tomorrow.